So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some photographs of a preset that I've made, which I've called the Matrix, which for obvious reasons, it kind of resembles the old slide film that I used to shoot on back in the day. Um, I used to send this off to be cross-processed and you'd get it back and some images, um, depending on how they were cross-processed by the lab, would have either like a, a red tint to them or a green tint. For this, you'll see the green tint on the images. Um, I think they, they work well with the setting of where I'm shooting, which is in my hometown. I think you'll have a, a good understanding of what the Fujifilm camera can do in terms of creating presets, saving them in the camera. At the end of the video, um, if you want to look in the description, I will write the, the settings for this preset. So if you want to have a look at that, I'm going to create three videos for this series. Um, the next part will be me shooting at night with the same preset and then in a future video I will concentrate on um, video footage itself where I will film it during the day and during the night. Just, just some odd scenes that will hopefully capture the, the, the essence of what this preset um, can capture really. For all three videos that I'm going to film, I'm going to use the 16mm 1.4 lens, which for me is my favourite lens. Um, it has a certain quality to it. I just think it's the best lens that Fujifilm make. It's so, it's got just such a wonderful character to it. And also on the front of the lens is a Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter at a quarter strength. Um, I think that just has the right amount of uh, blooming in the highlights, especially you'll see during the daylight um, photographs in the market area where it kind of it lifts the shadows and it also blooms the highlights without giving it a, a harsh overexposed feel to it. it is, it's really pleasant and at night it does some really nice things to uh, lights, light sources, so stay tuned for that and hopefully I can give you some really nice imagery for the nighttime scenes as well. Enjoy the photographs.
as you may have known in the last videos, you will have seen that I make my own music. Well, you'll have heard that I make my own music. There's a new tune playing behind this. Um, if you're interested in listening, then you can find me on Bandcamp or Spotify under the artist name, The Gigantic. That is one of the big parts of this channel as well. I really like to make my own music to my videos. Um, also the sound effects. If you would like to see a video of me where either I create the music or I specifically go out and shoot a scene for a piece of music or even if I shoot the scene first and make the music second, you know, just let me know and we can go through that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's just some of what I see around where I live. Um, like I said, in part two, I will concentrate on nighttime photography and we'll see how this preset works, Fuji film recipe, whatever you want to call it, all straight JPEG, straight out of camera. Um, we'll see how it works at night as well. I'll use the same lens, the same filter, everything the same. And it'll be the same for the video as well. Hopefully uh, you'll have a good understanding of how this preset works. And then from there, we'll start making some new ones, I think. And then we'll, we'll make a little series of this where we just create new presets, go out and shoot them straight out of camera JPEGs. Also make some um, non-F-Log um, video filters as well. And just see what you can do really with um, the creative aspects of Fujifilm, which I think has got its own little community. Um, yeah, I think you'll find that, that that's one of the the niche little areas of Fujifilm that people like to get involved with and create their own um, visual style using the settings that are available on cameras. You can create the same things on anything with the same sensor as this. So you're talking the XE4, the XS10, the X-Pro3, the X100V. They've all got the same sensor, so, you know, they'll translate onto other cameras as well from the past but you know I'm using the X-T4 get out make your own and I'll see you in the next one alright